it called speed. You have to go fast. <laughs> Feeling safe, like at home, should not be up to chance. Stop. Kenzie Abbott. <laughs> I'm sorry. And her I'm twin sorry. brother Braden are both juniors at Cherokee Trail High School in Aurora. I'm nervous to go back to school because you go to school never knowing what'll happen that day. Concerns at Cherokee Trail stemming from something that happened or didn't happen more than 900 miles away in Uvalde, Texas. You should be able to rely on a quick response from the police. That's the one thing that you should rely on. The one thing the mom of two wants is answers. That's the question. Have we thought of everything? Leah Abbott questioned district leaders about who makes the call to go in after police waited more than an hour before going after a school shooter in Uvalde that left 19 students and two teachers dead. I want to know who that person is, or I want to know if the district knows who that person is. It could happen at our school, it could happen at any school. We do have a plan for response, and we do have a plan for management and command of that scene. Ian Lopez directs safety and security for the Cherry Creek School District. We will respond in, we will have command and control over that scene, we will be working together. Lopez says in school buildings over the summer, his team, along with law enforcement from several jurisdictions, trained together in active shooter drills. I want the whoever responds to take the initiative and just go. We all train in that same manner to make sure that we can operate in that situation and everybody understands what those protocols are. Sheriff Tyler Brown with Arapahoe County says deputies will go in, no hesitation. Not all law enforcement agencies operate the same way, and one of the things that we're most proud of is our training in this area. Training and lockdown drills. Security alert, lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. That Kenzie and lockdown. Braden hate. Lights. Because, yeah, you can hide in a classroom with the lights off, but... Everyone knows that procedure, including school shooters. It definitely causes me anxiety, and it makes me more scared to go to school. And I understand that we need to have the drills, but they're still scary. That's important to me, right? I don't want to cause anybody anxiety. Lopez wants to give students peace of mind. So it'll give us two layers of secured doors. It'll give us a secured area to contain visitors. This year, school entrances are being enhanced. All classroom door locks will now either have a push button or a twist lock that can be easily secured from inside. And every room will have something schools have never had before. We have bleeding control supplies. They're called red bags that have tourniquets and bandages packaged with a QR code that activates a secure communication system via cell phone. Train our teachers to check in by clicking the prompts. Sending real-time information. So I'm gonna say one and then simulate how many students are here with me, so I'll say 10. Lopez says this is a game changer for first responders. We have the ability to talk or communicate directly with each classroom. That was something that we never had been able to do before. He says it's relief for those waiting and wondering while hiding. The worst part of the lockdown, other than the incident itself, is not knowing anything. So having Red Bag gives us the ability to give them information. Here's all the things that we did over the summer. Here's all the things that we have practiced over time. Here's what we learned from the, from the particular Uvalde shooting. Superintendent Chris Smith says the start of the first school year after Uvalde is a crucial time to address parents and students' concerns. Safety and security is our number one priority in the Cherry Creek School District. So what I would say is um, trust us. Trust that there is a plan. If the police take that long to get there, the lockdown drills aren't effective. And I feel like more parents should be questioning it more. As a parent, I have to be, I have to feel secure that when they leave, they're gonna be as secure at school as they are at home. In Aurora, Nelson Garcia, Nine News. As far as the red bag program, it cost almost $270,000, but it was all paid for by a state grant. The superintendent believes that Cherry Creek schools are the first district in the nation to be using those red bags.